Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how our character packs are set up in Blender and how to work with them easily. We also often get asked, how do I prepare a character that isn't included in the demo scene, build it from the assets and export it to FBX or GLB with animation? Let's go through it together. Blender is a free program, and even if you've never used it before, don't worry. I'll show and explain everything step by step, it's really simple. I recommend installing the latest version, preferably the LTS release. At the time of recording, the version of Blender is 4.5. Once Blender is installed, we can simply drag the blend file into the open scene. In this video, we're using our zombie pack available in our store. The file should open just like you see in the video. On the left, we have all the assets divided into categories. Body, hat, outfits, hairstyles, hats, gloves, eyes, weapons, and more. On the right, there's a demo scene with pre-built characters. But what if the character you need isn't there? And you want to build your own from the available assets? It's very simple. For convenience, let's open another 3D viewport window. You can do that easily. Just drag the corner of the window to the left. Now, let's zoom in to the origin point. That's where our rig is located. Here it is. It might look different depending on your settings, that's fine. It's just a visual representation. We prefer using a simplified version so the bones don't get in the way. Let's disable any unnecessary overlays so nothing distracts us and start assembling our character. Let's start with the body. In the other window, select the body you want and move it to the origin using one of two ways. Option 1. Open the side menu with N, go to the Item tab, and reset the location values to 0. Option 2. Select the object and press Alt-G. Repeat the same steps for all other assets. Add the hat, eyes, eyelids, shoes, gloves, shirt and shorts. Done! The character is assembled. Now you can close the extra window and, for better organization, move the character into a new collection. Select it, press M and create a new collection. This will make it easier to manage animations later. You can also rename the collection right away if you want. Once the character is ready, let's move on to the animations. Open the Non-Linear Animation Editor. If you don't see it, split the area and select Non-Linear Animation from the list. Click the star icon to view the available animations. Let's open another window at the bottom and set it to Timeline. Scrolling through the frames, you can see how the animations play. If the background looks a bit messy or scary, don't worry, that's normal. To clean things up, just move your character into a separate collection and hide everything else. When you've picked the animations you want, it's time to export. If you don't want to export the entire pack, just leave the ones you need. Uncheck the rest. Then go to File, Export and let's look at the settings for each format. Export to FBX. Select your character together with the rig. Go to File, Export, FBX. Choose where to save the file, for example on your desktop. Check selected objects to export only what's selected. In the Animation section, uncheck All Actions. This way you won't export every animation at once. Enable NLA strips. This ensures that only the animations selected in the NLA editor are exported. Then click Export FBX. Export to GLB. Again, select your character with the rig. Go to File, Export, GLB. Choose either GLB or GLTF, Bean plus Textures. Also check Selected Objects. In the Animation section, select NLA Tracks. Then click Export GLB. Now let's take a look at the result. We've successfully exported the model, and if it shows up without textures, don't worry. Just move the textures next to the model file. 
After that, when you open the model, the textures will load automatically. As you can see, all the selected animations were exported successfully. Done! You can now use your exported model on any platform or device. Game engines, VR, AR or web platforms. Thanks for watching!